What's up guys, Chase fan number 9 here and it's that time again for another paint scheme preview video. This time we'll be taking a look at the paint schemes for this weekend's races at Bristol Motor Speedway including the cup race, the Bass Pro Shops, Bristol NRA Night Race. That race is the one I'm looking forward to. I expect another different winner within the next three races starting this week. And a better way to do it than look at some of the paint schemes that I'm going to be running because anticipation is going to be high this week. Yeah. See a driver win in a good looking paint scheme this week. Probably from the gallery here. But yeah, looking forward to it. So anyways, let's get into it. So you got Kurt Busch and his Monster Energy Chevrolet. Brad Keselowski and his Miller Lite Ford. Here's a new one. Austin Dillon driving the number three Bass Pro Shop Tracker Off-Road Chevrolet. And he and Daniel Hemrick are running near identical paint schemes. And this one, I kind of like it similar to Daniel Hemrick's. Hey, I tell you, Bass Pro Shops have been on a lot of cars in the recent years. They've been, of course, the sponsor for Marge Shrek Jr. for many years. And, of course, they've sponsored R RCR in the past. Specifically, the three car. And, yeah, I like this one. And, of course, they're sponsoring Hemrick, of course. And, oh, yeah, and... They were on the gold paint schemes for RCR's 30th and 50th anniversary. And yeah, pretty interesting cars. But yeah, this one stands out more than Hemrick's. Or, or is it the other way around? But anyways, yeah, I like this one. So you know, like, here's Daniel Hemrick running, like I said, a near identical paint scheme similar to Austin Dillon. This is the same one that he's ran in the past, and I've seen him run a red-orange E-type paint scheme. I know this one shows different, unless it really is orange, not the orange e red color. But, um, yeah, I like this one, but I think this one's going to show the orange more. So, yeah, I like this one. They, could they paint the wheels white or orange? But, yeah. Chase Elliott running... A Hooters paint scheme this week, but it's not just any Hooters, it's a Hooters Spirits car. And I tell you, I'm starting to like this paint scheme. It's too bad that I know that if I get the small one, I'm going to be expecting it to come with that little plastic clear stand. You, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but yeah. He does have one more race left in the original Hooters paint scheme, the orange and white. He's going to run it in the playoffs, but I'm not sure which playoff race exactly. But anyways, this paint scheme, wow. I like how they're changing things up. I got the bottle here to make the car stand out and showcase the product more. So, Hooters, I see you out there starting to change your game up. And I also like this little bit here where the S fades into multiple S's. So yeah, Denny Hamlin running a traditional FedEx car. Ryan Blaney driving the number 12 Dent Wizard Ford Mustang this week. I like this one. I think I sh was shown in a different video before a couple months ago. But yeah, I like the blue on here. It's a, like a darkish blue. The white and the white rims makes it stand out more, but yeah, I like this paint scheme. I like it. Dent Wizard. I like how they're bringing new sponsors onto this 12 car, so keep it up. I hear this is not a different kind of peak paint scheme. It's the number 14 Peak Lightning Ford for Boyer. And wow, I like how they're changing it up. Um. So yeah, I like it. 
got Power Vision Gold and got some other stuff on here, so. Okay, boy, I see you stepping your game up. Kyle Busch running that traditional M&M's car. Truex Jones running their paint. Eric Jones, I hear, is staying with the 20 car next year, I think. Paul Menard driving the number 21 Canal 4. Liking that sky blue on there. Lagana running the traditional Shell Pennzoil. William Byron. Ooh, first time I've seen. I think it's the first time I've seen Quinn Huff here driving number 27 on this gallery, so. Anyways. Incredible Bank. Talk about incredible paint scheme for Corey LaJoy. I'm like, oh my goodness. More new sponsors coming onto this car. Like, I tell you, man, you, go, you guys at Go Fast Racing are going to be going somewhere with this. I got like almost an hour ago. I'm a little tired and laugh. Let's check. So yeah, I like the orange on here, and the black. It's got some other associates like Scusa electric scooters. I like that will be interesting. And so yeah, I like how they're stepping it up. I saw, I see. You. Good one there, LaJoy. Chris Busher driving that Bush Beans Chevrolet. I have a die cast of it, die cast of it, but from last year. But the die cast shows a darker, br um, so yeah, pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, I like it. Wow, uh, you think after hearing the news that you're gonna be stepping down, Reagan, you're you're gonna come to Bristol with this MDS paint scheme? And I tell you, I like the color change up a little bit on that orange, this orange um car um got a little. The orange makes it look better, and it's about time we change it up. She ran a special paint scheme for his last race, so yeah, I think this is a pretty good looking paint scheme, better than all the other MDS cars in the past. So yeah, I like it. You should paint the wheels white too. I also like this dark detail here. I hope the air, the camera is picking up the um the arrow moving so I think I think it should but anyway Kyle Larson running that credit one bang surely it's going to be really good this week Bubble Walls back with the U US Air Force Warthog Chevrolet so okay same one from Daytona expect them to do good at Bristol and get at least one top 10 so yeah I expect a lot Jimmy Johnson Hoping to win in that streak soon. Okay, BJ McLeod, I see you stepping it up with the Pinnacle Sports and Entertainment Chevrolet. Like the detail on this one, it's got some black here, gray there, and white there. I like how how the it's got all this um, it's got like a rust feel or. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Font, number font didn't change, but anyway, I like how it's got some stuff here. Yeah, I like this one. I think BJ will be in the Chevrolet, but hey, it is what it is, so, yeah. Bailey Curry, the better of the Rick Ware cars. Then the Sergeant Slate Belmont Classic Car Chevrolet. Okay, not bad. This is an interesting yellow. I'm not sure what kind of yellow it is, but it looks nice. And I like the black font on the black coloring to the number. But it kind of looks too dark compared to this one. And I'm not sure if the wheels should be painted this or maybe it's just me. But okay, Curry. I I like big this guy. He's starting. He's a little bit better than the Rick Ware guy. 
What is this? Josh Balicki. This is the same car that Spencer Boyd drove last week, so we can see. Wow. A fourth Rick Ware car? I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, okay, Rick Ware, I see you. Four cars, not bad. At least they're trying something out new for once. JJ Lee driving the number 54 Slayer Chevrolet. I hear it's a heavy metal band I have, that I've never heard of. I only heard of it, well, through this, obviously. But, wow. About time they ran a fourth car. And I, I knew damn well that I saw this coming. But yeah, I like the paint scheme. I like the detail on the side of the car it makes it represent the car more to what spot as into what sponsor is on the car. So yeah, I like this one. Yeah, so go Yaley. Reed Sorensen, the '77 guy, stepping it up with a different color. I know we've seen it before, but it's about time they change it up a little bit with the '77 Go Parts dot com Chevrolet. Alex Bowman, your traditional nationwide car. I hear Matt De Benedetto won't be in the 95 next year, so that will be unfortunate. But hey, it is what it is, so yeah. Hope he gets a good ride next year, but anyways. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, have a good one. Goodbye, everybody.